from MTN and MontanaSports.com. This is Sunday Night Sports. Hello, everybody. We usually begin Sundays with a look at the Cats and the Grizz, but with both losing, we'll instead begin with the new leader in the Frontier Conference, the Rocky Mountain College Batlin Bears, who dismantled UM Western yesterday on their way to the top. A lot of work went into it up until now. Our, our, our last two classes, our two years, you know, build a strong foundation and just excited uh, that they get a chance to experience some of the success. In two and a half years, Jason Petrino has taken Rocky from also ran to frontier favorite. The Bears have won five in a row and avenged their only on field loss yesterday by scoring 43 straight points. Let's go, baby! We came out hot right away. Last last game, uh, we played them. Uh, we didn't score in the first half, so we, we really wanted to be explosive. The offense is averaging over 42 a game during the winning streak, but the defense was just as impressive, holding star quarterback John Jund to just 65 yards. The quarterback really hurt us last time we played him. You know, he got away out of the pocket, kept some plays alive, and was able to connect on some shots. Anytime he gets out of the pocket, he makes things happen. So we just, this week, we just really focused on staying in our passing lanes and our getting a good pass rush from where you can, and we made it happen. But as is life in the frontier, they have to make it happen again next week at Eastern Oregon in another battle for first. It's a team we haven't seen a lot on film, even in our crossover games. It's going to take a lot of long hours here on Sunday and Monday to get ready for them. It's a 1 p.m. Mountain Time kickoff in La Grande, Oregon next Saturday. Western, meanwhile, hosts the College of Idaho, who beat the Mountaineers for their fourth straight win yesterday. These are the two games to watch for playoff positioning.